so my name is Johnny. This is my first video. This is actually my third take that I had to do because I get nervous in front of the camera. So I had to, this is my third take. i kind of give you a background story. So here we go. Charlie and I first met when I was in college. I went to Douglas Education Center. Uh, I did the Tom Savini Makeup Effects program. Uh, sculpting, airbrushing, uh, ZBrush, pretty much everything you can kind of imagine when it comes to different mediums. We deal with things bleeding and like pussy grossness and zombies. I graduated um, about, I want to say about a year before I graduated. He originally found Dylan McGaster's videos, <laughs> showed me the one day and was like, look, this is like a super awesome way to live, which it is. Probably find a whole bunch of other videos. You don't have to watch this one. But pretty much we sold both of our cars. I had like a $300 car that I sold for 1500 bucks. And then uh, he had a old school New Yorker, I believe like a 76. Uh, so we got together, we got about maybe like, I don't know, like four or five grand together and bought this beauty. It's a class C, it's a 86. So it's pretty old school. We do run into some problems with parking at RV parks and whatnot, or campgrounds, or most of the times they have a 10 year rule so they won't allow us to kind of park in their spot, but that's okay. Uh, there is a ton of BLM land that we found that is absolutely beautiful. It's all dry camping, so it's not like you have like full hookups or anything or any awesome things like that, but it's just some beautiful scenery. After I graduated, we left to Ohio from Pennsylvania, uh, near the Pittsburgh area. We went from there to uh, his dad's house in Ohio, worked on this camper for about a month. Uh, we found out that we could work at Yellowstone for two months. We got there about halfway through the season. Uh, we wanted to do a full season, but it didn't really work out with when I was supposed to graduate and working on the camper and trying to get it road ready and everything. So we, we, yeah, we still went and worked for about two months, but living in Yellowstone on top of a super volcano is pretty freaking awesome. The campground that we worked at um, was Grant Campground. I got to see the lake every day, dug my toes in the sand and relaxed as much as possible. They had everything there for us when we, we had a parking spot, we had water, we had electric, so, and full hookups, um, which was nice. That's something we try to always look for, is full hookups. I want to try and get the, get through this quickly. Um, I don't have any notes written down, but that's okay. I'll still get through it. One thing I did want to touch base, if you are an artist or any, you know, like you like to work with your hands and need a lot of supplies to do that, uh, if you're planning on doing this and living this way in an RV, or prepare yourself because you're not going to have room. <laughs> I have been dying to work with my hands again and, you know, airbrush and sculpt and paint and make all these things and do all this makeup and whatnot. I run into a lot of problems and a lot of issues with it where I can't. And I was actually just telling Charlie he I'm in the parking lot right now, but waiting for him to get out of work. But he came out for uh, uh, his break and I kept telling him, I'm like, I want to work with my hands again. I want to work with my hands again. But thinking about it, like having all this time off and not being able to do anything, I've been able to think about a lot of things and come up with a lot, a lot of concepts and a lot of ideas about what I want to do when I get to a point that I have the supplies and I have the space to do them. So like living in Yellowstone and being in the woods and, you know, I got to see elk every day and just because I can't, you know, do what I want to do right now and I have to work like not so great jobs right now doesn't mean that I won't be able to like do stuff in the future and, you know, I can take the time right now to write things down, come up with ideas. Sorry if my voice is like super shaky, it's pretty cold in here and I just woke up. So one thing with our camper, since it's an 86, when we were going through Yellowstone and through the Rocky Mountains, take into consideration that you're going to be going up and down big mountains. <laughs> like who knew, but our RV struggled. It's a hill for you know, a few miles and having an 86, we burnt, <laughs> like you could smell our brakes. Make sure everything's good before you decide to move somewhere else. Um, with people with vans, I don't think you have to worry about it that much. But since, like I said, like we're, ours is pretty big. It's probably too big for us, to be honest. We could probably do something smaller that we really want to, cause I need space. 
<laughs> Another thing is we don't have solar right now. We also don't have a hot water heater because it banana peeled open. At the same time, it's a learning curve. And you know, I'm I'm I turned 27 in two days. So I think I'm still kind of young and hip and popping. For any artists out there to go see things, like if you're stuck on the East Coast like I was, or if you're stuck on the West Coast, I mean the West Coast is probably like, I like the West more than the East. I'm tired of the East Coast. I don't see myself going back anytime soon. It has been such an eye opener to kind of experience this, even though it's a struggle for me personally, because you know, we're young, we're broke, <laughs> like kind of broke pretty broke yeah we struggle like who doesn't struggle i mean we're not homeless everywhere we go we have our bed we have our food we have our water we literally have everything with us it can be scary sometimes but i mean it's it's definitely worth it i'm lucky to have an amazing mother who still babies me because i'm i'm her little baby even at 27, like if it wasn't for her and if it wasn't for the people that have helped us in the past, we wouldn't be here right now. I mean, we might be here, but I'd be a lot skinnier. <laughs> if you need jobs, go through coolworks.com, work camping, I have friends at, from Yellowstone that have a family. They just bought land in Colorado. So uh, we're actually gonna be going to them soon, hopefully. Charlie is going to be helping them build their house and I gotta get a full-time job, so good luck me. <laughs> I'm not gonna show you my RV because it's a complete mess right now. I'm very lazy and Charlie's at work, so I've been watching Netflix all day. But I wanted to talk to you guys, check in with the people that I, I know personally, and yeah, have fun.